Nellie Neal, the Garden Mama, is with us, I do believe. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Perez has known me since I was the compost queen. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Somebody in control A needs to put us on the screen there, so but we're not on. Why? Why? See, Perez, I'll just never stop playing producer sometimes on here, Mister Davenport. Where we got we got three people here. Mister D is on with us too, or what? You are the producer, Paul. We just never told you. Whew, man, sometimes I screw up bad, well, man. And, uh, screw up bad. You know, oh, your, there we your, go. There your, we go. Paul, at your age, we want to offer you a <laughs> part of the company, Perez, and our start. Yeah. What is that? Is it marijuana? Heavenly rest. No, it's medical Oh, the marijuana. marijuana thing, man. Uh, according to a new Gallup poll, 50% of Americans have admitted to smoking <laughs> weed at one point or the other. And 17% are being regular smokers. Is there anybody on here smoke regularly? You can raise your hand. Anybody? 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 Nobody? Nobody's on here raising their hand, so uh, just, uh, we'll leave it at that. Both the results are new highs, <laughs> no pun intended, since the 1960s. So there you are. <laughs> I should have never brought that term up. I? <laughs> I mean, it's like one of these things he's got on his brain you cannot remove. I mean, it's like being Italian. I mean, get over it. Um, I, I haven't renounced either of those. So, Nelly, I want to squeeze you in here. You said uh, back How in kind the compost of days. You. <laughs> Mr. Listen Mr. now. Mr. D was supposed to come on the next segment there. Well, so, that's uh, fine. You know, I'm, I'm I'm tickled that he would even share the air with me. So well, it, it's a pleasure. It's we'll all you, be man. here together. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, you, I'm not going to go quite as far while. back in the time machine as our mm -hmm. friend Robert St. John. I was not here in those years, which I know is a relief because you've probably heard enough about that already, Perez. Yeah, sorry. But, Paul, if I can take just a moment. Sure. I want to tell you how I met. The hardest working man in radio, and this is the truth. It's a it's a tale. Um, it's a it's a name he was given, and his legend preceded him into the teeny tiny little studio that we worked together in in another universe, long ago and far oh, away. Yeah, no kidding. How small yeah, was it? It was so clear. small. It was so small that we yeah. were two feet apart from each other. There was no glass and the stacks of carts were up if you know what that is were up around our ears we were literally wedged in together and had amazing times because of you Perez they told me that I was really lucky that this guy was going to come produce me because he works overnight and he works 40 hours a week and he does this and he does that and he does the other thing never missed a beat you taught me about rapport you taught me the difference between a board op and a producer other than the $10 an hour. <laughs> you, know, you, you gave me the insight into how important it is for somebody like me who wants to talk to have a safe place to do that. And I will always, always appreciate it. In fact, let me just tell folks that are acting like this is done for you. There will come a Saturday when Lance needs a weekend off, yep. and you better yep. be there. <laughs> You're talking to the guy that, uh, you know. Well, if y'all aren't too busy at the dispensary. You know. <laughs> we'll be busy. We got we got well, jobs. Yeah. We'll be selling yeah. dope. I um I got a couple of other things to say, but I don't want to interrupt Mr. Davenport. Right <laughs> <laughs> I think Mr. D is coming up at eight thirty five, so it's all yours, Nell. You got plenty of time. Paul, you are you are the luckiest person at Super Talk. Because no, you no. were able to get this man out of bed at an early hour and bring him in here to produce. There is no question but that we're all better for having worked with Perez. Would y'all stop acting like I just died? Well, we don't, we're not going to say this when you die. We're going to, you know. Yeah, just tell the truth when I die. It's true. This is, this is it. When you die, you don't get another one of these. Now, so this, I want to tell you that after the overnight shifts, y'all, y'all don't yeah. know this. Nobody knows this but me and Perez. He would come in ready for caffeine and the leftovers from last night's dinner. And because this place was so small, the microwave and the smells came immediately into the studio. Before the coffee could get dripped, this man is reheating Chinese pork and sauce and rice and stuff and eating it because he didn't have any other time to eat or to sit or to do anything. So as a result of all that... <laughs> Here's your gift. <laughs> there you Thank go. You. Oh. you can open oh. it at the break, but Thank you'll you. never be without chopsticks again. <laughs> now, when we got here, 
of course, life changed. We actually had an opportunity to be in studios and act like professionals. And fortunately, we got to do that. We did 9 a.m. together as it went through its incarnations and, and finding it, its footing in this place. You were my rock. Perez, you gave me the two best compliments that a radio gal like me can ever get. You said that I could talk to anybody, which is fortunate since that was my job. <laughs> and you also told me that I had the fastest hour in radio. And that has stuck with me. That's all, those have been my goals ever since because you were so sharp to tell them to me. I thank you for being a friend to me and a friend to my friends and a friend, frankly, to my entire family as kind of crazy and oddball as it is. <laughs> That's true. We do know a lot of the same people. We, we know a lot of the same people. Yeah, I won't yeah. even say how old our children are, but they went to school together. And, uh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. One more. Well, I, Nobody yeah, knows this one either. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If, you, if I can't believe that this ever happened, the first thing you do when you sit down at a desk in a studio is to find out where the dump button is because you might have to dump a collar. Heaven knows you might say something that needs to get dumped. You would have to know that for yourself. You can't trust anybody else to do that for you. Guess what? The one and only time that I ever mispronounced something and ended up cursing on the air, I didn't even look for the dump button. I looked at you because I knew that you would handle it, and you did, and nobody here ever knew until right now. Don't tell them again. I'm not. No. I won't. I, I, got, I, I hate to do this, but i I got to bring you this because this is a big part of his life, a big part of our life, uh, on two guys that, uh, oh, the family of JT and Dave. Oh. And we we lived through that, our brothers in broadcast. Uh, it, 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 over the years, uh, Perez and I have had this uh, this 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 going thing. Please don't tell them. That. Well, I, I just think it's funny. Sometimes when we have a problem early in the morning, and it was a problem that when you you're going to have it as, as vast as this network is, and as many things that we have. If God knows if you've ever been there and seen all of the all of the bells and switches that uh, you have. He was, if we'd have a problem, we'd always say, well, by the time we got, it got fixed, it was at 9 o'clock. And we'd always laugh that it's going to be ready for JT and Dave. So <laughs> the problem would be fixed by then. But those two guys, I mean, we a power packed, uh, especially at the, at the beginning of this network's life. And uh, they are forever a, a part of our lives. And, and we miss them. I just wanted to mention that. We Thank can you. only say yes. That's Thank true. You. Thank, no. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank any you. any any memories, Perez? You want to put in there somewhere? Uh, no. I mean, you got the big chair there. Come on. No. Let's just get this over. That's with. it. His his memory wants to be. Is it is it uh, over yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think he. All, all, close, I, all I want to hear is a granddaughter to say, "That's all." Mm -hmm. But anyway. uh, I think I was going to put that in, but I changed it to something else. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, I, I can give you both of those if you'd like them, but uh, uh, it, it is remarkable. All right, anything else, Nelly, that you want to do? Final thoughts here? Well, you know, I mean, there's, there's not an end to this. We aren't actually saying goodbye. We are saying the next phase. So my way of talking the way we do is to say happy retirement. Now get back to work. Thank there you. you well said. You're retiring? Mr. No. Dean. I thought we came here to talk about our dang business deal. <laughs> I'm retiring. Gee. Mr. Dean, smoke him if you got him. Mr. D coming up next. Hang on. Are you serious? <laughs>